What challenges me? I think what challenges me the most is the thing that I'm best at. What challenges me is comparison. I have to say um, that I'm really challenged by kind of being selfish. I think education. Um, I'm going to school for my master's degree at the moment. And um, I'm doing the work. I'm getting things done. But I can't seem to wrap my head around the fact that I'm going to school. I can't seem to wrap my mind around the, the process. The, I understand the importance of it. But at the same time, where I come from, how I grew up, education wasn't always the emphasis. And I don't even mean at home, but just the culture of where I was from. I think what challenges me the most is also the greatest gift I have, I have to offer the Lord. I think what challenges me the most are my words. I think words have power. I think words can build and destroy. I think words can encourage and lift up and support and remind how great God is. And I think words can make us feel like we are worthless or trash or forgotten or abandoned. I compare myself to others and it's more of comparing my success to theirs. My older sister went to college and went above and beyond and that's great and my middle sister, she as well went to college and did great and I guess instead of um, finding encouragement and um, like finding goals and you know, looking at their success and kind of um, being encouraged by that, I compared myself to them and maybe feeling that I didn't do enough or wasn't good enough or didn't try enough or hard enough. So I find myself focusing a lot on myself. And um, so when situations come up um, or opportunities come up where people need help or they need someone to step up, um, yeah, that's not probably going to be me. Um, I uh, all too often will shy away from things uh, because, quite frankly, I'm selfish. And I immediately jump to the thought, what is this going to cost me? Um, what am I going to have to give up in order to do whatever it is the situation calls for? Um, how much time is it going to cost me? How much uh, energy is it going to cost me? How, you know, how, how much is it going to cost me? I struggle with those things, those two words, fear and doubt. Fear that I'm not good enough. Fear that I'm not strong enough. Fear that I'm not going to do it the right way. Doubtful that anybody's even going to pay attention to what I say. Doubtful about my own abilities. And then I meet Jesus. And he reminds me that it's not about whether I'm good enough or not, it's that he's good enough. It doesn't matter if I'm strong enough because he's strong enough. I'm challenged by my words. I'm challenged to give all of my words to Jesus. Not just the ones that are in front of people, not just the words I say uh, to a crowd, but the words that I think, the words that I say to just one friend, I'm challenged to give everything I have to Jesus, even when nobody's watching. And I think I have to be grateful and, um, and just know that, that God has put me through these things and has helped me through. And, um, I should find um, my identity and my success in Him and, and be okay with, with the things that I've done. When I think about being challenged in this way, um, I think about how I just need to allow God to open me up to what He has for me and to be obedient 
to whatever it is he's calling me to, um, even though I think it's going to cost me too much. I can't outgive God, and God has already given me um, everything. So I can give freely as he's given so freely to me.